I funny. didn't get it. Oh, you didn't like it? No, I didn't get it. Oh, yeah. I didn't get it. And I, I'll never forget. He The day he got signed and he got his first deal, yeah. the big news in town was that he walked into three yards naked. <laughs> Like, I'm supposed yeah, yeah. to fucking be impressed. Like, I take yeah. my dick out every night. Me Nobody too. says nothing. Yeah, me either. He walks into <laughs> three yards naked, and he's brilliant. Like, yeah, he's yeah. a fucking genius. But he's white. That's why. It was when fucking... ethnic people pull out their dicks, it's, there's like, you know, charges. Yeah. How dangerous. much fun yeah. did we have at the comedy store? Do you remember that night that there was a girl heckling? I tell the story all the oh, time because okay. I was flat fucking broke. And I think Bobby was starting to bust already a little bit. Yeah. And the girl came, I went up on stage, and some girl heckled me. She goes, take your dick out. And I go, I'll take my dick out if you take your pussy out. <laughs> it was a Friday at yeah, about a quarter to one in the now morning. Bringing, Fear Factor was just uh -huh. coming on, and fucking this chick came on stage, dropped her pants, took a little clam out, <laughs> and had a little fucking thinness of hair right above the clit. Ooh. Dropped the pants, and I took my dick out. And Bobby Lee and Joe Rogan came to this. I, yeah, remember, I remember people that. who were standing that, yeah. outside ran in. Oh, my yeah, God. The place was packed. And Bobby Lee and Joe Rogan were throwing money at me. And yeah. me, I was so broke, I actually picked up that <laughs> and bought a gram of blow from fucking Chewy. You understand me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think I got $27 on the stage. I was so happy. Yeah. I had a gram of blow and a pack of cigarettes. I'm good for taking out my dick. That's success, Jack, on yeah. a Friday night at the store. Oh, Plus, I'm getting 15 next Friday. Joe, Joe <laughs> showed me a photo at the Brea Improv of you in the bathroom with a girl. And I've never seen so many veins on a penis. <laughs> that was crazy. That's yeah. Right. Do you remember that? That's yeah, right. You, that's your right. penis is so veiny. Yes, that's <laughs> you like it? I don't fucking know. I'm an old man. That's I know, but do you like the, the veins and all that? What the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like bang. It doesn't matter yeah. if I like it. <laughs> it doesn't? doesn't matter what no, I like. No, I'm just giving you props. I'm not get, making fun of you. No, no, no. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Good congratulations with all the veins. That means the blood's coming through Yeah, the blood's coming through nicely. Yeah, yeah. You got to have blood. And then Joey used to do this. Just Every night he did this. He'd go home. Get Where would he sleep? Where would you sleep? In, in the my, bathtub. In the bathtub, yeah, yeah, yeah I remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the pillow? Yeah, with the sleep apnea. And, yeah, with the sleep apnea, and he'd have the shower on, right? Yeah, I lived and in Hollywood. Where was It's this? so weird. It's so weird that you could buy a house in Wilden Hills, pay $2 million, and after 15 minutes, you run out of hot water. <laughs> You're like, what did I pay three mil for to run out of hot water, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I lived maybe four blocks from here. I lived on 1440 North Schrader. All right. You that don't live building, there anymore. You don't live in there no, anymore, now, yeah. That building has been there since Jesus left Chicago. Yeah. I could go in the shower at one in the morning, put the hot water on, and wake up at eight in the morning and still have hot water and the paint would be peeling off the fucking wall. <laughs> oh yeah. Because I had sleep apnea and that's the only way I could sleep. Wow. Was if I took uh Tylenol PM, I'd pop like six of them. I'd do like an eight ball and pop six Tylenol PMs <laughs> and fucking go in the tub, put a garbage can a garbage bag on the pillow. That's how bad my sleep apnea was. Oh my God. And I would sleep in the tub and that's the only way I could get like six. I would get up and my skin would be like a fucking prune. Wow. You know what Whitney Houston died of? No. She didn't die of cocaine. Wow. That's a lie. It's drowning, right? She died because she went into a hot tub after she did a line of coke. And because she was so coked up, she couldn't feel the intensity of the, the heat. heat. Oh, she boiled So the heat death? boiled her. What? Wait, 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 what, hot, what kind of hot tub is this? This is what a lot of people don't know. They don't know? No, I, I watch. I always watch that shit uh, the last 24 hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. my shit. I just watched James Gandolfini, and I watched the first 25 minutes to see if it was real, if they would release the cocaine reports, and they did. I'm doing my thing. I'm having a great time in Seattle doing the open mics. Dodging the cops, going to anger <laughs> management. You know, it was always something. I'm making, you know, I, so I started, I didn't go back to Boulder. So I, I started my own sports betting service. I rented an office above Josh Wolf's uh, business. Me and the girl had broken up for a while. So I lived in the office. That's the office that had a bathroom. Just a, a a bathroom with a, a toilet, no shower. So I had to join a gym to take showers. Shower. But I, I can't tell you how many nights I, I had to take a shit at like 12 o'clock at night. 
and the clean lady would be in the building. You're not supposed to live in an office. Yeah. I was living in a rented <laughs> office for 125. They would try to knock on the door to come in to clean the office. I wouldn't let them. I'm working. Go away. I had an 800 number. I'm then working. you could call me for football. And I was giving out picks. You know, I'm doing it by myself. And I'm having a great fucking time. And I remember how many nights I would just open the window and piss out the window. <laughs> and and people would go, what the fuck is going on up there? I would just take my dick out. I'd be all drunk and coked up. And I would just piss out the window. Let me tell you something. A couple of nights I shit out that window. <laughs> I would just put my ass out the window and just drop two turds out of my ass and look down. And they would fly down. It was like the third floor. I had the. (laughs) I can't tell you how many times I shit myself. I remember I saw something on Eyewitness News with Diane Sawyer about a a teacher, a professor in Yale, one of those fucking schools that taught their twin babies how to swim at 11 months old. And how to look underwater, and and it, and it was just brilliant. So when my wife had the baby, I go, let's sign her up at the Y. So after six months, we signed her up at the Y, and I would go to the Y, and I would go in there with my fat fucking titties, <laughs> and the fucking Y, with my water, with my daughter and my wife, and I noticed that all these white kids had Mexican mothers, and I'm like, wow. <laughs> That's <laughs> fucked up that uh, all these white ladies adopted these Mexican kids. <laughs> How fucking nice of them. Yeah. And I realized that they were nannies mm-hmm. and the parents, half of them were there, half of them weren't there. And if they were there, there they were texting. So wait yeah. a second. You're a parent and you're at a, the, the hardest thing for your child is to establish trust and I'm a fucking criminal. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. I was raised by a Cuban fucking nutcase. So uh, if I saw this, what the fuck is your kid going to turn out? There's yeah. no trust. Yeah. You're in sitting there sit, texting with your tattoos on your leg <laughs> and your fucking kids get and learn how to fucking swim by some lady that's yeah. illegal. If ISIS comes in, your kid drowns because she's yeah. got to run out of the fucking pool. Yeah. Your kids are Ghana. You know what I'm saying? Immigration. Watch them scatter. Yeah. So this is what you're telling me. So, <laughs> so this is a society we live in today. Man. Yeah. I saw a rap out there and Mike from the store and I gave him all a hug. And I walk into the kitchen, and my left foot just went straight. And slid, it was like, like it slid? Like it just slid at 90 miles an hour. I bounced and then fell over. And all I could see is stars and fucking the pain was brutal. And, uh, you know, thank God. You know, sometimes you go, oh, I just go to the store to work out. No, you don't. They're really a family. Because I never saw them react to me like that. Kudos to Whitney. Cummings, it was all over me. Oh, that's great. The funniest, the, the, the night belonged to Annie Lederman when I was in my darkest, darkest shadows. I mean, I couldn't see the pain. I was breathing out of my nose. I thought I was going to pass out. She goes, Joey, come on. You want a blowjob? And I looked at her. <laughs> and, and there's guys, you know, yeah. in the middle of all this, she goes, you want a blowjob? And I go, you know, now Annie Lederman? And she goes, I was going to get one of these guys. It's such a dick. <laughs> And, you know, people have no idea the gift of bringing levity to a situation. That's what this show is all I about. I fucking hate, like, if, if somebody calls me and says, hey, call, God forbid, Tom Segura. His dad passed away. I give it a day. I call him like I usually do. Tom, I love you. I'm sorry about your dad. And then I'll just drop like a, what are we getting in the will? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Is it going to your fucking creepy sister? Or are we getting, you know, what are we? And people usually go, you motherfucker. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for making me yes. laugh. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Nobody has the balls to call and insult me. Like, I'll call people and go, you got a brother? What do you want? Do you want to light him on fire so he gets nothing? <laughs> nobody so else, he gets no, nothing. Nobody else can test the will. And they'll die of laughter. They're like, don't push Stop me. Because I hate that motherfucker as it is. And for five minutes, I just made that day. Yeah. We would leave her mother's house, go to the warehouse on Sunday nights. Yeah. Buy two roofies around f- seven, pop them, and then go on the hunt for coke, and then go out. And we'd end up back in my apartment doing the nastiest things. 
you could do to each other. You, you could know? you I could mean, get an erection after a roofie and lines of coke. Oh yeah, like I did. Listen, let me put it this way: this is the type of guy I am. If a woman, if we're straight up friend, girlfriend, boyfriend, and I get to know your cycle, I kind of leave you alone that week. I don't like period pussy. You know what I'm saying? I've never really. It's always <laughs> petrified me. I know on Coke, I've eaten period <laughs> pussy. Just lick the clit and take the tampon and pull it back in and out. You ever do that? That's how crazy my life got. That I would just lick the clit, even though I don't like blood or nothing. I would lick the clit and then take the tampon and pull it in and out. And see, they go crazy because women really like to make love when they're on their period. Oh, yeah. You know? No, I think it's not what I don't fucking... I don't like it. Yeah. I think it's disgusting. Yeah. But when I did coke, I was all in. <laughs> I was licking ass. It smelled like fucking, because when they have their period, their pussy smells like uh, like gunpowder. Like it smells weird. So you're eating that asshole. You're thinking of George Washington and cannons and fucking, you know what I'm saying? You're like, what the fuck? Why is George Washington keep popping into my head? You're thinking of Thomas Revere, whatever his name is. So when you do coke, <laughs> even if it's somebody's wife, at four o'clock she gets sloppy. Yeah. Can I can I use your bathroom? They go to the bathroom, they come out, and all of a sudden their thong is out and yeah. they're buttoning their pants. Right. This is something you do in the bathroom. Okay. And next thing you know, she's like, "Did I ever show you my tits?" And you're like, "No, not really." And and that's it. You know, that's what happens after five a.m. when you're alone with a woman. Everybody, you know. 